This is a video showing you how to create a custom latch hook pattern in GIMP. So first thing we we'll need to do is open a picture and uh, I have this nice one of Audrey Hepburn which we're going to use. Now uh, we want to resize the, the picture so each pixel represents a thread. So that's image, scale image, and for me, I'm going to make it uh, 100 threads wide by 150, and you can scale it however you want. Now, next step is to reduce the number of colors by changing the image mode. So we're going to go to Image, Mode, Indexed. And the default is 256. Try multiple options. So, for example, I could try 5. I don't like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I hit control Z to undo there so now I'm going to try it again with six and hey that looks pretty good to me so we're going to go with six colors now the next thing to do is we want to get information about this uh, so we want to know how many threads of each color we're going to need so we're going to go to windows dockable dialogs and histogram now we want to select each color so you can either go select by color which you'll notice is shift O and when we click on the pink we'll see that there's 8,221 no, yes, 8,221 threads of pink then we've got the black um, the peach uh, the grayish necklace color, the other necklace color and then whatever this shade is here and you would write down each of the pixel counts for each one of those um, because that's your number of threads and you take that multiply by five and that's the number of inches that you need of each color um, or maybe by two and a half depending on how you do it um, so now that I've got my pixel counts I need to do some other things first I'm gonna go ahead and save this because I'm about to do something where I need to um, change uh, and close GIMP so what I want to do is I want to replace each one of these uh, pixels with a pattern and so I will use the bucket fill option and down here I will fill pattern and if I look at this dialog box you'll see that I've got all these patterns that you probably don't have these are patterns that I made up and added to so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make these patterns and we need to make as many as we have colors so I'm gonna do file new and I want to make them 10 pixels by 10 pixels um, and if you want clearer patterns or, or more variety um, you can make larger ones and make more elaborate ones but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna zoom in on this and we're gonna get our pencil and use something that is easy to work with and one pixel size so now we're gonna draw an outline, and I only need to outline two sides because when it tessellates that'll line up, and then some sort of shape that's easy to distinguish and will allow us to to um, figure out uh, what what it represents. So here I've got a little plus sign and I'm going to do file export as and I made a folder of these uh, called patterns and you'll see that oh well I've already got one that's plus dot pat and the dot pat is the pattern ending, export, replace, and it's a GIMP pattern. Cool. Now we need to make sure all those patterns are accessible. I can close that. I don't need to save the changes because it's already been exported. Um, but what I need to do is go to Edit, Preferences, Folders, and Patterns and when I do that it brings up and you can add a new one and I've added mine here that's the one that I just put in and um, we'll go ahead and hit OK uh, now for you to do it once you've added a, a, a folder to have access to those you'll have to close GIMP and reopen it which is why I told you to save the picture so now you've closed GIMP and reopened it and we want to um, uh, scale this so now we want every pixel every square here that's a single color now to be a 10 by 10 square so what we're going to do is we're going to scale the image by a factor of 10 
and except for now here's an important step we want the interpolation to be none and that means that all, everything will still look like a pixel now I'm going to zoom out and that's control on the scroll wheel and I want to replace each one of these 10 by 10 squares with its appropriate color so now I need to um, change the picture mode uh, back to RGB and then I want to add Oh, don't want to add layers yet. And I want to uh, add a section, make the canvas larger, so I have a section for my key that's going to help hold my picture on it. So I'm going to go ahead and go to image canvas size and uh, make it wider. And then I'm going to take the image and uh, fit image, or sorry, take the layer and fit layer uh, to image size. Cool. Now we're going to add two more layers. So one is just going to be a temporary layer, uh, and another layer is going to be the pattern layer. Cool. Now we want to be able to see those patterns, so we're going to go back to Dockable Dialogs and look at layers, so that's going to have my layers here. Now the temp layer is what we're going to do is we're going to fill up our patterns. We're going to go to our bucket fill, so we've got our temp layer selected. We're going to pattern fill and pick one of our 10 by 10 patterns. Now you'll notice that some of these are different sizes. So I've got the 10 by 10s and some 20 by 20s, but I did this as uh, 10 by 10, so we're going to start with that. And I just cover the whole thing. Now I'm going to make this not visible for now. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our um, Audrey layer and we're going to switch to the pencil we're going to grab a color, select the color which is control left click and we're going to paint a block over here on the right Oh, control A paint a block over here on the right now uh, then we're going to hit Shift O, and that is select everything that's the same color. So this is selected everything that's pink. I'm going to go to the temp layer. Ooh, so you might notice over here. Let's look and make it visible. It didn't actually cover everything. So I'm going to hit Control A, bucket fill, pattern, and cover this over here. Now I'm going to go back to my Audrey layer hit shift O to select by color go to the temp layer hit control C and go to the pattern layer and hit control V and now it's covered everything and you'll notice it says oh floating paste selection so now I just need to click over somewhere so it actually pastes down now I'm going to go to my temp layer and hit the delete button and that's going to delete everything bucket fill and pick a new pattern so now we've got the plus pattern and it's covered the whole thing and then we're going to go to the, oh, actually, so let's make these sort of representative um, of the actual color tones. So I've got this other pattern that's a, just a bunch of squares, but it's one of my darkest, has the most coverage, so that will be good for the black. Uh, so now we're going to go to the Audrey layer, we're going to select our pencil, we're going to do control left click to get a copy of the color, going to hit the black over here, then we're going to hit shift O, and select the black. So now it's selected everything that's black. Go to the temp layer, hit control C. Go to the pattern layer, hit control V. And now we've got two layers done. And again I need to click over here, go to the temp layer, delete it. Now um, bucket fill, pick a new pattern. Um, so I'm going to pick this pattern that has basically nothing in it, just an empty square. <coughs> and fill in everywhere <coughs> and grab my lightest color here so I go to my Audrey layer pencil uh, uh, left click to grab the color paint a copy of the square over here shift O grab the color go to this layer hit control C go to uh, oh. shift O so I've selected the color, go to the temp layer, hit control C, go to the pattern layer, hit control V. 
and there we've got now we're, we're halfway done so we just need three more so now we're gonna go to our templar delete it bucket fill select a new pattern um, we're gonna go with these little dashes bucket fill everywhere go to the Audrey layer select the pencil control uh, well I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I can find one so control left click zoom out paint it over there hit shift O select it go to the temp layer control C go to the pattern layer control V um, click over here and then we've got two more colors to do so we go back to our temp layer delete bucket fill pick a pattern do this little division symbol and it's covered it everywhere oh. that should not be visible through anything that should be solid so we're going to delete that and do that again uh, bucket fill pattern huh, I wonder if that's transparent in some way oh well that's right I need to hide that layer sorry so everything's good so we've got the this one and let's go ahead and go back to our pencil control left click that gets us our color shift O to select that color temp layer control C pattern layer control V we're down to one color left so uh, bucket fill go back to the temp layer delete uh, pattern and just something that we haven't used yet that is the right size so we're gonna use little X cool now covered the whole thing go to the Audrey layer pencil select color paint a copy of the color shift O grab that color go to the temp layer copy the pattern go to the pattern layer hit control V cool so now we've got our pattern and then what we're gonna do is on this pattern layer um, we're going to grab the eraser and erase so that way we have the color and the pattern next to it so we know exactly what it is now if we look at this uh, image and scale image scale image there it is we can see exactly how big it is which is so currently it is 18 inches by 20 inches um, and we could probably make it narrower um, so that way if we broke it up into four pieces we could put it easily on eight and a half by eleven so we're gonna break it into quarters um, but to make that just a little easier to do um, yeah so now it's well, I guess maybe we should go a little bit smaller uh, yeah so in changing the resolution density I've been able to make this so that way uh, it would easily fit in eight and a half by eleven when it's put into quarters so then what I would do is I would uh, crop this I yeah cut it in half and select each quarter and then uh, print each of those quarters now I normally do that by going grabbing oh we missed a step hold on so window there's there's another trick that you want to do here is this pattern is right and accurate and everything but it's not exactly easy to read because well there's all the lines are marked off in a weird way so what would be nice is if we had some sort of pattern overlaying it that matches the pattern on our um, uh, whatever latch hook canvas so what we do is we go to uh, 
filters, render, pattern, grid. And what we're going to do is we're going to put um, a grid on there. And uh, the offset allows you to match it exactly to the grid that you're using. So for example, if you're starting and you're not right next to one of those blue lines, but you're offset in one way or another, you can adjust that here. Just remember everything is done by a factor of 10. Um, so I can overlay this grid pattern on the whole thing. And now it's a lot easier to count. So I can count, oh, well, I'm starting here, and it's uh, oh, 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever, and then mark out so it's very easy to see my pattern. Um, and again, so now would probably be a good time to save. Uh, save as audrenew.xcf and we're going to replace the other image because we don't really need it anymore. Now uh, I would select a about a quarter of it um, and in fact I would take the time to sort of zoom in and get it right on one of these blue lines uh, so it's capturing the blue line as well and then Edit, copy visible, um, and then edit, uh, paste as new image. So now we've got our first quarter here, and oh, cancel. And the reason that I do copy visible is because we've got multiple layers here and the color the only place that it matters is actually on the color key it's over here and I don't remember how far down we went but I'll say there uh, so and that's control shift C but you can always remember um, and do it up here copy visible and then paste as new image is control shift V so now we've got um, two pieces. This one's probably longer than it needs to be. And you would go ahead and do that with the other four and then you can print them out on your regular printer and you would have your key. Um, I don't actually print in color, I print in black and white so I just write down what the colors are. Um, but hey, if you've got a color printer it might be more convenient to do that. And so then uh, you've got these and these are easy to print or throw into a word file if you have some printer issues. Um, where you can just, yeah, print them wherever you need to, and then you've got your pattern. There it is.